it's time for you to put it together for real. Take a quick inventory of your parts and verify that every engine component is either new, reconditioned, or recently cleaned and inspected. Get everything together and prepare your shop supplies and workspace. By the end of this section, your engine will be ready for reinstallation in the chassis. Let's start with a bare block sitting on the ground with the rear area facing up. Our Clevite rebuild kit came with all the oil gallery and freeze plugs included in it. We started with the rear oil gallery plugs. Any threaded plugs should be coated with some type of sealer. We recommend using the liquid Teflon or a similar non-hardening sealer. Don't use a Teflon tape. Pieces can break off inside and cause an oil system clog. Clean the edges of the water jacket holes before you put the freeze plugs in. Then coat the inside diameter of the opening with a non-hardening sealer. Wipe it thin and even and don't leave any bare spots. Grab a large socket that's just a bit smaller than the inside diameter of the freeze plug. Bang each of them in until they're just below the beveled edge of the water jacket opening. If you want, you can seal and smack in the cam plug, but we're going to wait till later to do ours. Now we turn the block over so that the front is facing up and get a punch that's smaller than the inner diameter of the front oil gallery plugs. Just a dab of sealer, evenly wiped around each of the plugs, and bang them in until you're about a sixteenth of an inch below the rim. When they're all in, you should take a chisel and stake the rim of each of the openings in at least two places. This will make some dents in the edge of the opening in the block that will keep the plugs from backing out under oil pressure. This tool from Goodson does the install and the denting all in one step. Close off the two front water jacket plugs while you're here. Each block type is slightly different from another. Make sure you don't miss any engine plugs that are specific to your particular engine. Now let's flip the block upside down. This way it's easier to clean and seal the side water jacket holes check a few times as these go in. Sometimes they start to get crooked. If one does start to go in at an angle, you can just hit it on the crooked side and the plug will straighten out as it goes in. To finish off the water jacket, we'll put back the two drain plugs while the block is upside down. Don't forget to use some thread sealer. That's the worst of the banging that we're going to be doing to this block, so now we can put it back in a stand. On this block, there was a sneaky oil gallery plug that drops in on the oil filter side of the main cap. Almost every engine has some kind of hidden plug like that. Carefully read over your disassembly notes or look through your repair manual to make sure that you don't leave out any important details like that. Another example is all the different types of oil filter mounts and bypass valves. If your motor has a spring-loaded oil filter bypass valve, check to make sure that that valve is working and that it's closed properly. With the help of your notes, the block should be all buttoned up now. Your camshaft.